Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of basic to advanced t-shirt design and in this one I am going to show you guys how to find a occasional design like this design is going to be for St. Patrick's Day and if you search like this St. Patrick's Day you will find that it's in March 17 that means it's almost February today is February 14th the Valentine's Day so you should start design for St. Patrick's Day even before this date so now you can design for that day because it's in March 17 you have almost one month time in hand so for making a design like this or any design first step is you need to search like this search for niche I will cover this in another video you can search like niche list for POD that means print on demand you will find tons of different niches here websites here where you can find niche or they will show you so I was just searching like this and then I find this one Irish culture and I remember that St. Patrick's Day so for making a design for St. Patrick's Day first step is I do like this I go to amazon.com then search like St. Patrick's Day t-shirt so you will find tons of different designs on this niche but you need to understand it really well for making a design like this like as you can see this baby yoda one or the mandalorian one these are all copyrighted designs so you cannot work with the, those kind of designs so never go for them but what you can do is you can see this one shut up liver you are fine this is a funny sarcastic shirt you can if you can see this t-shirt design is not looking very good or if you think you can make it better then you can go for this design this is a really cool design so that's what i'm going to do for this one and as you can see in saint patrick's day the color theme is green that means there is a good chance that people will buy a green t-shirt instead of a black t-shirt because people do not buy a design for that design's color they buy a t-shirt for t-shirts color whatever color they like they buy a t-shirt in that color they, they never buy a t-shirt for a design's color so i am going to keep this in mind that my design will be on a green t-shirt so that's how i will start the process and for making a design like this you can simply search like i'm going to make it a beer t-shirt design so i was searching like beer mug vectors i find this is a free bundle here and there are thousands of other graphic bundle of beer related things so i am going to use them in my design this is called the shamrock leaf you can search like on like this sham shamrock leaf silhouettes you will find thousands of different websites where you can find different images you can just take any one this is not really copyrighted so and i am going to use a complete silhouette so that is not copyrighted if i use that as a small part of my design but you can see this one is a unique one they are using the ireland flag theme in here so you should not copy this one but you can simply take this one because there are tons of different images like this so before starting the design process first step is i am going to keep the theme similar here this theme here the beer glass and then the text on top of bottom top and bottom and for doing that i am going to use a this bundle from here this beer glass bundle from here and of course this is from free pick so i just cannot use it as it is first step is i am going to ungroup them so that i can okay so this is going to be really hard so this is i am not going to use that so this is the parts i don't need so i'm going to simply erase them and that's it so you can see there are some different colors this is the white color in here i don't need that and i am not sure if there is any other color or not if you can see it is showing me a question mark that means there are more than one color and here is the white colors in it so first step is i'm going to make the, this a group just to make sure i'm not i'm not messing with anything else and then double click to isolate this group and now with magic wand you can simply select this white and then remove okay so you can see removing the white is not working for this one so first step is select this one and then trim trim only will work in this case double click again now i'm going to select my magic wand and click on this black i'm going to cut everything that is in black so everything else you can see there are some empty strokes which was because of the 
compound path there are some whites whatever so press ctrl a to select delete everything select everything then delete and then press ctrl f here so this is going to give me the only black part of my design and that is five so if i try to select it it is all in a small parts i don't need that so i'm going to select everything from here and then group so this becomes one single object and now i am going to use this one so for this one i am going to first of all i am going to make a modification in my graphic so i am not going to use this as it is i am going to use it like this so i am going to make it in a chair kind of okay so not like that here so i am going to place it in this position and then i am going to you can see it is overlapping one another so i'm going to select my this one then copy now i'm going to select my this one open transparency and then press ctrl f here and once it is in inside of this shape press merge click on this merge and unite so merge unite will make it complete one single shape and that will hide that part of the other graphic so this is how it is looking i need to make sure that they are complete black and they are so no problem i'm going to select it and then for the rest of the area I'm, for the text i'm going to put in is we are going to use that type on a path technique that we learned so i'm going to make a ellipse from here and this is in fill color so i'm going to change it to a stroke something like this i'm going to select this too and then make sure it is in the center position just to make it a good looking design so that is fine now this is how it is looking i am going to make it a bit i am going to make a offset path a little bit bigger like this that is good now for this one here i am going to place my text on my this option this shape here this ellipse so okay so for this one i am going to i am going to select this one and then going to again make a offset path something like this so that is how it is looking i have three ellipse and on this center ellipse i will put my text so this is the text here shut up liver you are fine this is really funny and i'm going to use my type on a path tool click on this anchor point and then press ctrl f here or ctrl v here sorry not ctrl f ctrl v i can make it bigger and for this one i'm going to use a font called anton so this is my anton font or you can use any font you like i am going to use impact font sorry i can use impact font like i want to use a bolder looking font what will be really easy to read or visible and this is how it is looking but this is not perfectly matching with the shape here so first step is i need to select this then go to type type on a path type on a path options and from here i am going to change it to center you can turn on the preview to see what is going on and then click ok so this is how it is looking i can maybe make it a little bit okay so once we change the center line the text becomes a bit close to each other so we can simply increase the space between them a little bit maybe 50 that is fine so as you can see here this is not now looking very good so i'm going to make it a bit bigger in size so that i get some space between this first ellipse and my text and then this last ellipse i will need to remove it i can simply create another offset path for my that ellipse and try to keep this area and this area similar like the space similar so that is how it is looking i am going to select this one then copy ctrl c ctrl f that means copy paste in front and then with selecting this center point i am going to change its direction to in this way and then once you release that you can simply make sure that they are in the perfectly center just like this and we have a circular text and this part i am going to put this text you are fine so my main text is shut up liver you are fine and then it is overlapping with my that upper text so i can simply bring that a bit down and it is not hurting anyone so that is fine now as you can see this is looking kind of a badge and this one this leaf i want to use here so i am going to keep a copy of 
this leaf then I will remove this part this part of the leaf so let's I am going to erase the it from the center just like that no problem then I am pressing alt to bring a copy then reflect it so as you can see this is how it is looking and I can simply unite this to make it a one single graphic so that is good now I am going to create a art brush here or I am going to use the blend here but for for doing that I need to make sure that the size of my graphic is going to adjust in this gap so that is fine so one here okay so I am going to just copy this on here on here another one here so I am just going to put it manually and then I will do some modifications that is I want that center one to be bigger and this i want to just make that two smaller and make sure that there are equal gaps between the shapes here and if you think this position is good i can simply modify the position of the leaves manually just like this it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect just whatever looks good in your eyes that's fine and then reflect it for this area and that is good so this is how it is looking right now and this one with that that leaf I will just put it here this is not really important just to fill that gap I can simply make that in the center position shut up lever you are fine now for this one i can simply add on more text and that is going to be the saint patrick's day this is really not important just to give it an just to fill that area you can mention this name in the design or not that's not really important just i have a area here so i can simply put anything i want shut up lever you are fine so i am going to cut this one then i am going to paste it here and then maybe i will just use it like this 70 percent that looks good okay so i am just going to put it here then another one i am going to put here and this three i will keep it group together so this is how my main design is looking right now and this is perfect for me but before expanding or distorting the design i am going to keep a copy here so that if i need changes i can do that and once it is done i am going to select everything then go to object and expand so everything is going to be in exactly same black color you can change it any color you want so maybe red color that is not a problem but as you can see here are some areas to fix i am going to select this to this to bear glass then create offset path okay sorry so that's too much 190 pixel maybe 10 pixel or 10 pixel also looking bigger okay so let me show you one thing so once we are when we are making offset path sometimes it happens that sometimes some area looks like this hard point end here and that makes it hard so for fixing that you can simply switch it to round so round will fix that but not 10 pixel maybe in 5 pixel okay not 5 pixel let's make it 10 pixel let's give it overlapping here that's not a problem so that is fine now once it is oval offset path is done you can simply merge unite this to make it sorry not that one this merge and unite merge unite to make it one single shape that is fine then cut it now i'm going to select this one this ellipse that was inside ellipse open transparency and press ctrl f here so this is how it is looking now it is as you can see this is not hiding that part 100 percent because it is in red but if i make it black it is going to hide that 100 percent and one more thing this is small areas is not really important so i'm going to hide them okay so that is good now so 
we pasted something inside that shape but that is not on top of my letters so they are looking perfectly fine so this is how it is looking and for a design like this as i mentioned earlier i'm going to keep in mind the shard colors so i'm going to okay that leaf overlapping is not important so let's just keep it like this so my main my shard color will be green and it is going to be somewhat this green or you can choose any green from here that's not a problem so let's just make it this green send it back so i'm going to lock this one and now this is my text i need to select a color that will look good on green color and whenever your shirt color is dark or something like close to dark you can always choose white color white looks the best on darker colors but as you can see here there is a little problem everything looks good except this two this two bare glass because everything is in this solid color or this solid shape silhouette shape but this is in 3d style 3d shape so that is not looking very good and for fixing that i need to select this one and make this black so this is not looking very good right now but don't worry i'm going to do a simple thing here i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to create offset path for them not 10 pixel this time i'm going to make it 5 pixel just a little bit of offset path then click ok now do not click anywhere else press shift m for shape builder tool and with shape builder tool i need to fix this area that is looking like this okay so before doing that we can simply i'm pressing v for selection tool we can unite this so that it becomes one single shape and then i can cut it now maybe i can paste it in the front just for now change the color to red so that we can see now press shape builder and i'm going to fix this area okay so the reason i am not using merge unite here because that will make it make this area also fill in fill color that's not what i want here there is some other easiest way of doing this by simply keeping a copy of this but that's really not important you can choose whatever way is good for you and this is fine so not these areas okay okay so it is done now i will change this one's color to white now cut it i'm going to select my this one this bare glass and then press ctrl b here so as you can see this is how it is looking and now it is looking perfect with this white but this black is making it a bit hard to focus so it all the focus is going to be on this black color don't worry select this black color cut it and now select this shape as you can see this is how it is looking there are still some area that needs to be fixed sorry guys about this one so i can simply pause my video or do it to make it a perfect looking design but that will not teach you what kind of problems you can face so once it is done i am selecting this solid shape then open transparency for it and press ctrl f here and ctrl f will paste my black colors in this area and as you can see this is perfect black so it is making perfect transparent from those area and this is how you can make a perfect design for any color and this is going to be a solid black color solid white color design nothing else i can simply make it a group then whatever color you will choose for the background that is going to be see through your design and this is the perfect way of making a one color design so and then of course you can change the color to any color you want you can change your design color to any color you want anything maybe kind of this lighter green then the shirt color will be darker green it is going to give it a look like that that is fine so this is how you can make a design or you can make a existing design better i think my one is better than that one so this is how you can make a design and if 
if I am going to if this is the main design as they are available and if I am the competitor I am going to start after them then if my design is better than them then I have a chance to get a sale and of course I will upload this one to March by Amazon and if I get any sale I will let you know so that's it for this one I hope it will give you some advanced level idea of how to make existing design better so that's it for today's video guys have a great time thank you for watching